Good day, ladies and gentlemen, to the mining news on Commodity TV. Skinner Resources once again showed great drill results, strengthening the 21A West Zone with over 18 grams gold and 130 grams silver per ton over 9.2 meters. Another drill hole returned 14.9 grams gold with 2.5 grams silver per ton over 5.7 meters, and several other good drill results. These are all results from the 2022 regional and near mine exploration and delineation campaigns at the SK Creek Gold Silver Project. A new mineralization is expanding the 21A West Zone, which should have a positive impact on project economics. However, the 23 zone also continues to develop. New mineralization has been discovered south of the 21E zone that is similar to that in the 23 zone, Howell SK221187, in the sector two notable horizons, the first of which showed grades of 0.95 grams gold and over 1000 grams per ton silver over 6.4 6 meters. The second occurrence averaging 1.1 grams gold per ton and almost 20 grams silver over 26 meters is located 65 meters vertically below surface in a previously untested northern extension of the 23 zone. To date, the mineralized horizons that comprise the 23 zone have been traced by reconnaissance drilling at varying distances from the 21E zone southward for approximately 800 meters. Drilling has outlined mineralization from surface to depths in excess of 300 meters below surface and remains open for extension. The 21A West and 23 zones were discovered by Skina in 2022 and represent mineralization that has not previously been included in a mineral resource estimate or economic analysis. Now that all the SE results from the 2022 drill program are in, the company will include all post-September 2021 drill data in an updated resource estimate to be completed in the first half this year already. That should be good for the stock price, ladies and gentlemen. Victoria Gold showed gold production of over 150,000 ounces in 2022, combined with robust gold prices. Net income was 35 million Canadian dollars or 55 Canadian cents per share on a basic basis. Although some adversity was faced as the crushing and production circuit availability were impacted, there is reason to be pleased with these results. We expect costs to decline in 2023 as gold production is expected to increase and the problems have been resolved. In 2022, AIC were at 1,441 US dollars per ounce gold. There should be a lot more room to go down. With cash of over $20 million, the company is well positioned. Several analysts see price targets of 17 to 21 Canadian dollars like PI Financial and HC Wainwright for the stock, which corresponds to a price potential of a good 130%. Consolidate Uranium announced promising uranium and vanadium assay results from its 2022 regional field program at the Laguna Salada Uranium Vanadium Project in Argentina's Chubut province. The 2022 exploration program was successfully completed with a focus on an area in the northwest sector of the property known as the La Rosada Target, located approximately 40 kilometers from the historic Laguna Salada mineral resource. The area was evaluated as a conceptual prospect with 548 shallow, with an average of 80 cm depths, pits excavated 200 meters apart, with an average spacing of 100 meters between samples. Scintillometer measurements were taken in each pit, and a total of 428 geochemical samples were collected from those pits. That showed significant anomalies. These were geochemically analyzed. The results of the 2022 program confirm that La Rosada has the potential to host extensive near-surface uranium vanadium mineralization that is similar in style and tenor to the area with the historic mineral resource at Laguna Salada. Uranium grades of up to 2727 ppm U308 and almost 1500 ppm V205 have been reported from the near surface pits. The program confirms the positive assumptions and targeted work will continue here in 2023. We look forward to some good news here. Please note the disclaimer superimposed. The stocks discussed are part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate, and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us, and bye bye from Switzerland.